Hello folks, this is Jamil Sir for Gunstock Reviews. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at the headquarters of Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, buddy? Good. In the past, we uh, showed you how to install parts on an AR-15. Mm -hmm. We built a complete lower, but we, when we built the rifle, the carbine, we built it with a, a collapsible uh, buffer tube. Mm -hmm. uh, so we never did a rifle buffer tube, so I want to have Marty show us how to install. We're using Luth AR parts. A rifle buffer tube. This is their buffer tube kit from Luth AR. Comes with everything mm -hmm. that you need, and you're just going to show us how to put together the the lower. Okay. I mean, finish the lower mm -hmm. as a rifle. Right. There you go, buddy. So now from here we've got our assembled lower, or for the most part assembled lower. We have our rifle buffer receiver extension tube, right? We've got our rifle link spring. We've got a rifle buffer as well. So then. Um, we we assemble this in a little different sequence than we would uh, than we would like a uh, a collapsible stock, right? So we we've also got our, our space rear and our A2 rifle stock. Um, so one of the first things to note is that your buffer detent, right, is not in the gun yet, and it's not going to go in the gun really, or at least it's not going to be held in the gun until you run your rifle rifle buffer to then, right? So this comes in, and we want to depress the, the tube with our thumb here, right? And then actually we'll get a wrench and torque this down. So that's, that's our buffer detent, and it's not going to be secure, right? If I back this thing off, right, this thing is going to shoot out towards your head. So <laughs> you want to, it is, it, is held in by the, it is held in by the front of the receiver extension tube there. So we're going to depress that with our thumb, screw this in all the way, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to come in on the back here, right? Now you can do this with a crescent wrench and it just so happens this tool is supposed to work with it. And we're just going to torque this thing on. I got a question for you, Marty. I yeah. know a lot of people just do that. They just torque it in mm -hmm. and that's sufficient enough. But back in the old days, I remember guys putting gobs of Loctite yeah. On this, yeah. but that's not necessary, is it's it? It's not how the guns were ever built. I mean, you know, it's not, it isn't necessary. You could do it, I guess, if you wanted to, but it, it isn't needed. Yeah. Um, and, and one of the reasons why it's not needed is because the, the stock itself is going to keep it from backing out. Okay. So, and, and we'll get to that because this assembles on a, on an M4, you have the you have the receiver end plate, right? Mm -hmm. And that receiver end plate is collapsed in place. Well, there's no receiver end plate on this. You have the stock itself. So the stock itself is what's going to hold all this in. So now that we have our detent in, we have our tube torqued on, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the the rear the rear takedown pin, and I'm going to put it in place. And I want to make sure that the slot is facing towards the back, right? And then I want to drop my buffer detent, or my, my uh, Jesus pin in there, Jesus uh, detent, yeah. right? Because when you lose them, yes, you say Jesus a lot. So then from here, you're going to run, uh, then you're going to run your, uh, your, your detent spring in there, right? And one of the things you saw me do here is I'm kind of twisting this. That way I, I know it's lined up in there, right? And then you can, even, you can even shut this if you want, right? And that way you just know, okay, it's in there. I'm going to run my, there's a, there's a spacer that goes on the back of the stock here, right? And then I'm just going to slip this whole thing together all at once here. And as I slide this down, you can see that the spring here is going to be compressed in place. And there's a little, uh, there's a, there's a little alignment tab on the front of the stock there that goes into the back of the receiver. And then from here, our last piece, right, is our screw with a, with a hole drilled in the back. What, why is that hole there? It's for drainage. Oh, okay. It's for, it's for drainage. So uh, what you'll do is you'll just uh, run that screw in the top there and screw it down. And I got a little gap there. So.
Okay. And the last thing we want to do, run a buffer, buffer spring in there. And then our uh, buffer just snapped, just slapped right in there and went straight across the buffer detent. It's in place. And that is your install of an A2 rifle link buttstock. There you go. Well, great. Thanks, Marty. That was simple. It's something that you could do yourself. Mm -hmm. And, but you have to be careful with your springs because those things shoot out. This one shoots out. That one shoots out. Y yeah. That one shoots out. That one gets twisted. That, oh, this that, one gets twisted. That yeah. one gets twisted. I have yeah. twisted this one in the mm -hmm. past. Yes, that happens as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, either the detents fly out or that detent flies out. That detent <laughs> flies out. I know. Yes. Trust me. Yes. I've found several in my shop. You know, mm -hmm. sweeping and then suddenly a spring and a detent. Or... Well, uh, you know, another thing is uh, in incorrect installation of that spring. It, it can, uh, at least the, the buffer t detent itself. Uh, uh, one of the things I tell people, don't take, don't take everything apart just for no reason because people will get in there, they'll take those things out and then they'll be shooting and that thing will shoot up in the air with this in the wrong spot and your gun is now locked up. Oh, so, ouch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's something I don't want to do. No. So don't take that apart after it's put, put together. So Great. That's a great tip. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for watching. And like always, please stay healthy, be safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.